AT fam, it's your girl princess. I hope everyone's having an amazing day. So today I'm going to be trying some bagels. I'm going to show you the bagels that I will be trying. All right, look at that y'all, look at that. All right, so what I have here is, and in the front, let me put this back. In the front here, you have everything bagel. And then over here, it's a cinnamon roll bagel with some cream cheese. You can't really see it, but I'm going to take everything out so you can see it. And in the back, the red ones are the red velvet. All right. So I'm going to um, show you each bagel. This is the cinnamon roll bagel. And it comes with little cream cheese frosting. And then I have the red velvet bagel and I have an everything bagel okay so I'm gonna explain to you where I got the bagels from and no oh, let me show you one more thing before I go into anything else then I got a big old cookie it looks more like a cake but it said cookie I love 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 this it's a tri-color cookie. It looks more like a cake, like I said. Okay, it has chocolate on the top and three different color layers. And usually, um, if you know, if you had them before in a triple layer cookie, it usually has like apricot jam in the middle. I love these things. Every time I see it, I buy them. All right, I'm gonna come right back. I'm gonna take a bagel. I'm not gonna eat the whole bagel. I just wanna try with you all, talk a little bit, and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, so I am back. I just wanted to prepare the bagels. Um, I'm not going to eat all of them, of course. That would be too much, too much, too much carbs for me. Um, but I did take a piece of each bagel. As you can see, the everything bagel, the red velvet bagel, and the cinnamon roll bagel. And I put the um, cream cheese frosting that it came with, I put it on top of the cinnamon roll bagel. And also, I put some in the inside of the red velvet bagel because that's how they recommend it. It And just inside of the everything bagel, as you can see, I just put regular cream cheese. So, I'm going to try the everything bagel last. And the reason why is because it has strong flavors. You see all that seasoning on it. And the other two are sweet. So, I'm going to do the sweet first and then the savory, okay? And then also... Like I showed you guys, I'm going to try this um, cookie. Okay. All right. So these bagels, before I get into um, eating and trying, I'm going to just tell you a little bit about where I got these bagels from. All right. So I was, I follow a couple on uh, YouTube. A uh, couple name is Ling and Lamb. Oh my God. They are hilarious. They are funny. They do videos. Um, and... They were, they did a video where they went to go get these bagels. And these bagels are from a company called Brit and Co. Bagels. Um, it's located in Connecticut. They're, um, it's a home based business, but they have a com commercial kitchen. So they did a video, and I wanted to, Ling and Lamb, excuse me, did a video. And they went to try these. They have all different types of flavor bagels. I've never seen anything like it. So I wanted to try. Um, they did have a pop-up shop closer to where I live, um, so I went and pre-ordered from them, and I'll leave all the information down below, and I went to go pick them up from the pop-up shop that was like 10, 15 minutes away from where I live. Um, anyway, let's get into trying these. I am so excited. I'm so, I've, been, I've been wanting to try these ever since I saw Ling and Lamb's video. Okay. So I'm going to start with the red velvet one first because I love red velvet. I love, and all red velvets don't taste the same to me, y'all, but I do love red velvet. I've never in my life had a red velvet bagel. So here goes. We're going to try it together, guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
guys this is so good oh and as you can see i had got two of everything because if i wasn't sure whether I, you know i wasn't sure if i was gonna like them if i wasn't gonna like them but but i said if i like them I, at least i'll have you know two you know <laughs> Because, not that they're hard to get, guys, but they're all booked up. Like, on the weekends, when I have the time to go and actually pick them up, they're all booked up. I think they're all booked up until, like, the middle of May or something like that for the weekends. So, I'm so happy I was able to... Um, I follow them on Instagram, guys. And that's how I knew they, they were having the pop-up shop. I'm going to explain a little bit more about the company, but I just want to get into trying these the rest of these. I want to take another bite of this. This was good. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. The bagel tastes like a bagel. Because I thought it would be like more sweet. The first thing is what makes it really, really sweet, y'all. But... It does taste like red velvet. It tastes like a red velvet cake, just not sweet. It tastes more like a bagel, which what it that's what it is. And the frosting is kind of what gives it its sweetness. So delicious. So tasty. I'm just going to go and get some water, and I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, I'm back with the water. Oh, guys, I did a TikTok. Oh, I'm going to leave my TikTok information in the description box down below. Check out my TikTok. I love TikTok. I am an, a TikTok addict, guys. I watch TikTok all the time. But I did a, um, a 1738 water bottle challenge on um, TikTok. So go check it out. It's a, Basically, it's a challenge where you have to drink this whole bottle of water before the song says 1738. So check out my TikTok. I'm going to leave the information in the description box down below. But let's get in to finish trying these bagels. All right. So this is the, I'm holding it upside down, y'all. But y'all can see, this is the cinnamon roll bagel. And I really, really wanted to try this. Mmm. See the, the layers of cinnamon? So good. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. mm. I'm so happy. Mmm. I am so happy, guys, that I got two of them. Two of each. Because, mmm. Mm, 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 mm. This tastes so good, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. 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 Oh, my goodness. That's really, really good, y'all. Okay. So next, I got the Everything Bagel. And guys, lately, I've just been a fan of Everything Bagel. From Trader Joe's, I ha have the Everything Bagel seasoning. I'm going to show you. Okay, and I love this stuff. This stuff is good on just about anything. You can put this on eggs. You can put this on meat. You can just put this on everything. It's so good. It's from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's has a lot of different seasonings and a lot of interesting combinations of seasonings. And their seasonings are only like $1.99. So yeah, I use that mostly on my eggs. But we're going to go ahead and try the everything bagel and um, yeah I put cream cheese <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
Mm-mm. Mm. Guys, look at this. These bagels are so good. I think these are the best bagels I've ever had in my whole life. I'm not even kidding you. Hands down, those are the best bagels. Um, okay. So, like I said briefly, I got it. These bagels from a company called Brit & Co. It's based in Connecticut. And... Mm. And basically, I was reading a little bit about their story, how it all came about. Um, I hope I'm not getting the story wrong. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But um, from what I read, basically, what happened was before the pandemic, I think um, the owner is a woman-run um, business. And... Basically, from what I got from it was that before the pandemic, they she owned her own business. I'm not sure, quite sure of exactly what it was, but after the pandemic, um, she had to think of other ways to make money. I'm not sure if she lost her job or anything like that, but I know she started the Brit & Coke Bagel Company like um, during the pandemic, the beginning of the pandemic. And it's just, like I said, it's a home base company with a commercial kitchen. And she started selling bagels. These bagels are so good. I'm not even kidding you when I say, and I'm just telling you, these bagels are delicious, delicious. I was not expecting, I didn't, I don't want to say I wasn't expecting anything because I really wasn't because I'm like it's a bagel you know but when ugh, I'm telling you the taste of the, these bagels are delicious so good so good so good and I'm so glad that I was able to try them okay so the red velvet bagel was the red velvet and the cinnamon roll bagel um both were 350 each and the everything bagel was a dollar eighty now, with this company, they do also have a secret menu, okay? The the three bagels that I have, I mean, is nothing compared to all the other flavors that they have. They have a whole bunch of flavors. The red velvet, it was just for the pop-up shop. They don't usually have the red velvet as a normal, as a regular flavor. But I'm so glad they did because I really, really enjoyed that. Like I said, I love anything red velvet. So if I had to rate the bagels... It's hard because they were just really, really good. But I will say my favorite one, like if I had to choose, would be the cinnamon roll. And I just love cinnamon rolls anyway. So, yes. And it really did taste like a bagel. It wasn't, it, it, it's not, what like I said, what gave the bagel sweetness was the cream cheese frosting. And which the frosting was amazing. Um, then the red velvet and then the everything bagel. If I had to rate them in order... Um, and just the reason why the Everything Bagel was the last one is just because I like Everything Bagels anyway. And, you know, like Everything Bagels, you know, is an Everything Bagel. I have had Everything Bagels before. I've never had a Red Velvet Bagel and I've never had a Cinnamon Roll Bagel. But they're all good, guys. They're all good. Um, and I look forward to trying some of the other ones that they have. And, yeah, so, oh, <laughs> I want to try this. So, where they had the pop-up shop, it was in of a bakery okay and the bakery of course had a lot of good like cupcakes cakes and things like that so I saw this and I was like I have to try it so I'm gonna just try it with you all mmm delicious mmm mmm it's four for four y'all this is so good. Mm. Oh my goodness. It tastes like it tastes like a tri-layer cookie. And I love them. So good. Drink some water. Oh. 
all right y'all like i said i'm going to leave the link down in the description box down below for ling and lamb oh my goodness i love them they are so hilarious the couple that was telling you that telling you guys about where i found out about the bagels and i'm also going to leave the information for the um bagel place where i went to get the bagels and then I'm also going to leave my TikTok. So you guys have to check out my TikTok. I don't have many videos on my TikTok. But go ahead and um, show my TikTok page some love, guys. And that will be the end of this video. I hope everyone's having an amazing day. Like I said, I just wanted to get on and share my bagels with you guys. And have a beautiful and blessed day. Oh, before I go, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. If you have any comments, questions about anything, please leave me a comment down below. And yeah, hit that hit that subscribe button. You'll be helping me out a lot, guys. Um, and now on that note, I'm going to go. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Bye.